you have all this cool stuff in your house, but how do you make sure that you know it doesn't burn down or that nobody steals it all from you? So this man has an answer to that question. Adam Sager, the founder and CEO of Canary. So tell me, what is what is Canary? So Canary is the easiest way to connect to a physical place and do security and have security at home, whether you're a homeowner, you're a renter, you just want to have information, live video, recorded information on what's going on in your physical environment. So what does security mean? Like what are you what are you telling me? So this is this is canary. This is the thing. This right? Is so canary. what is this what is this telling me? So security is really about two things. It's about information and communication. And right now the security systems that are out there aren't really good at either of those things. <laughs> And, um, and so we were devising we, the easiest way to both pull information. So Canary is jam-packed with sensors, video, audio, temperature, humidity, uh, air quality, accelerometer, and more. And it's designed to constantly stream that data to the cloud where we analyze it, look at pattern detection, uh, and we geolocate your cell phone, you know if you're home or not. We're really trying to find the easiest way to know if everything's okay in your environment. And if it's not, send all that information directly to you, to your mobile phone, notify you so you can take action immediately on it. So you'll tell me things like, you know, somebody opened my front door unless I, it's, unless it's me, which you can tell by my phone. Or, yep. you know, there's carbon monoxide or uh, I don't even know what else. There's a fire or totally. somebody yep. stole your thing from you. Um, so it's, you know, you, you said some of the other systems out there are bad at the information and the communication is it just is it just that it hasn't been out there before like you mentioned before you you know this started you sort of went into home depot and there just wasn't anything so like what's what what's been out there what's the problem yeah so security today is really about um they are the big installers like the adts right. of the world and there's some new entrants to the field like at&t and comcast and then there are the diy uh, and uh, there are a bunch of those and some new ones which are great but the two, both the DIY and the installers, have one thing in common in that um, they're both very complicated. Right. There are sensors all around. They're expensive, generally. And for a renter like myself, they're just terrible. I mean, <laughs> yeah. so I'm not, I'm not going to put sensors all around my home right. to do security. Um, and so most people don't have any security. So 90 million homes in the U.S. have nothing no connectivity, no security, even if, if their house or apartment burnt down and they were away from it, they wouldn't know about it. Right. Which to us is Which I guess is why you crazy. Because yeah. then it burns down and you're like, well, I was just renting it anyway. Absolutely true. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but you don't want to lose your stuff. <laughs> right. But so you have all, all these tools and then you have sort of a communications back end to the whole system too. Is exactly. That right? So we, we've both created the easiest way to connect because Canary, you literally, you buy it, unbox it, put it on your table. We have a 30 second setup process and then you're done, you have home security. Uh, the device itself constantly is sending data to the cloud and uh, you can access it whenever you want. It's user option if they want to store that data or not. Uh, we're analyzing it always to know, well, if it's normal for on Tuesday at 3 p.m. for someone to come in your house and have um, activities, uh, whether it's a babysitter or a, a, someone cleaning your house or a friend of yours that visits, or is it normal for you to have a dog or cat in the home? We're gonna learn that over the first few weeks you, you uh, own the device mm -hmm. and get better at sending you informed alerts. So if we know you have a dog and the dog walks in front of the device, we're not gonna alert you. We're gonna right. alert you when something wrong happens. <laughs> when somebody else's dog when, walks in front of you. When somebody else's dog, exactly. <laughs> like a really big dog. Yeah, you yeah. have this little dog, we're like, what's this big dog doing in your house? <laughs> it's definitely a problem there. Yeah. Fair enough, so let, let me see, I wanna see the actual, you made this so you can take it apart, right? Totally, so let's yeah. see the actual So this is a prototype that we can take, take apart on purpose. So we put it together with magnets um, and uh, Here's a, it's one of our prototypes. We have here basically a video, uh, infrared, uh, both night vision and motion detection, um, number of sensors, both on the front and back boards. Uh, this here is for our testing purposes. Um, and um, it'll include a speaker, a siren, and others. It's all in this really in this compact So it's device. really, it's like, it's it's also an alarm too. It's not just sending you the information, but it's like, it's, if you, you know. Absolutely, it's also an alarm that, that will go off at certain times, or you can activate it yourself. So if you see something's going on, you can activate the siren from your phone. Oh, interesting. As a deterrent mm -hmm. to get rid of someone that's in your environment. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and so it's like, is it just new that all of this stuff is so small that you can put it all in one sort of little package like this? Yeah, well, well what we have today is we have ubiquitous wireless uh, broadband right. in homes. Everyone has wireless connection. You have um, the actual video technology is so amazing today. Even a couple years ago, it, it was very different, especially IP video. 
Um, third, you have um, state data storage. So to both stream and store data in the cloud, a couple of years ago was so expensive to do that no one was really doing it. Right. Um, and um, yeah, so it was like there were old systems where there was like a video camera, but it was like forty nine ninety nine a month to access oh, yeah. the video that was in the. It was ridiculous. Yeah, and you have a lot of systems like that are like that today. Right. It doesn't need to be That's like true. that. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't need to be. And so um, with with Canary, we're actually providing. Um, alerts and um, backups. You can use your friends and family's backups. Um, you can uh, have live video or both um, incidents that have happened all for free mm -hmm. when you buy the device on the phone. And, and so it just, it's a complete game changer. It's taking a model that's a few thousand dollars, yeah. like security or even DIY systems that will cost you thousands of dollars, are complicated to set up. The average person won't set one of those up. Right. We're getting rid of all of that and we're saying you can simplify by having one device. Uh, if you're in a larger environment, larger home, you can have more than one. They all work together, but in most apartments would literally need just one device, and, right. and then you can have security. Yeah, where do you where do you put it? Like, is there if I, you know I have this like tiny little New York apartment? Should yeah. I put it somewhere where it's like facing the front door? I guess it, it's sort of a different device depending on where you yeah, put it. Yeah, well, maybe? We, yeah, we tested this in about a hundred apartments um, in New York and other cities, and the best place to put it is if you can see the front door and the living room or the main hallway at the same Makes time. Sense. What happens is in apartments, if something goes wrong, the likelihood that they'll pass by a central area of that apartment is over 95%. So mm -hmm. if if they're, you know, you'll see it, you don't need windows, uh, uh, sensors on, you know, your bathroom window. Like what, how is that useful to know when <laughs> right. someone's opened your bathroom window? Yeah. You want to know what's going on in your environment. You want to be able to see it immediately on your phone and be able to take action from it. And if it's nothing, Hey, maybe it's um, you know you're you're at work and you have a child as your child's first steps that you happen to capture, mm -hmm. um, and that's great. I mean, it allows you to be there, to to be present uh, in an environment, um, and uh, in a very unobtrusive way. Cool. And so there's there's apps to control all this yep. stuff, right? Can can you show me the, sure. the how the apps work? Yeah. So it's all uh, of course prototypes uh, sure. now, but uh, all all working prototypes. Um, so you have a uh, basic app, which you can connect any time. Uh, it's giving you immediately, if there's an alert, the immediate last alert. Um, so so now that alert is like, you know, somebody opened the door or somebody, you yeah, know, there's, exactly. there's a fire movement, or there, whatever. Yeah, when there's not supposed to be, there's a rapid rise in temperature, totally. So this was two minutes ago. Um, Actually, we have one. This one is set up in our office, so nice. you can see my co-founders here here in the vi in the video. Um, you can get historical data or events um, coming from it, so you can know what happened over time. Mm -hmm. And this is all going to get so much more personalized um, uh, as as we continue to develop, because we're launching now the product right. uh, and a crowdfunding, but the actual. Um, product will come out towards the end of the year, beginning mm -hmm. of next year. And so the app and everything will be just so so much improved by that time and available on the iPhone and we're planning for the Android as well. Cool. And it's it'll there's there's stuff coming for the iPad too, because that's kind of what I oh, want to yeah, do totally. is sit and just like be Mr. Security Guard yep. and just monitor my world. Exactly. So awesome. our roadmap is uh, iPhone, then iPad, um, Android. Of course, it'll be web enabled, so you can access it the web at any mm -hmm. time. Uh, in that, uh, our plan is to get all through all of that before launch, and then um, and from there, just keep developing. Cool. And so, yeah. where where do you you know you mentioned the app will be better and different by the time it comes out? What, oh, yeah. what are you guys thinking about now? Because like once you put all the sensors in this thing and stick it on the table, there's yep. like a lot of stuff it could do, right? So what, what else are you guys sort of thinking Well, the, um, what's really going into this and the heart and soul are the uh, the computer vision and the algorithms we're, we're developing for to learn about your behaviors. Mm -hmm. And and those, because it's all done in the cloud, it'll keep getting smarter and smarter over time. So even if you have the device day one, it's getting smarter both by learning about you over the first few weeks to learn your patterns, mm -hmm. but it's also getting smarter because we're learning about everyone and how people operate in general. And so learning about the community and how people operate, we can make our algorithm smarter to, to know what's normal and what's not, and to right. be able to send you better and better alerts. Because ADT, if you have ADT or another security system, their false alarm rate is 99%. Right, because they just go like, oh crap, the alarm went off. We have no yeah. idea why, but the no idea why. Off. So yeah. like less than 7% of people that have alarm systems actually have video mm -hmm. in them. So yeah, if your ADT alarm goes off, what you, they're going to call you, you're not home, what are you going to do? Right. I mean, are you going to send your neighbor? Are you going to go home? Are you Probably they'll send the police. Yeah. The police will drive by. If they don't see anything suspicious outside, then they'll leave. I mm -hmm. mean, that's what they do. So, so here's here's my question. Is Do people care about security? Totally. Like, I, like they should, yep. but do they? Like, have you 
you know, done any research oh, yeah. or looked into all this stuff? We've and, done and research. There, there is public, public available research um, that show a number of the surveys show that up to 85% of people want some kind of security really? in their homes. Um, That's absolutely. Encouraging. In fact, what a new survey that was just released showed that 40% uh, of people wanted security video in their mm. home. And it's such a new thing. I mean, so few people have video yeah. in terms of security. So it was great for us to see that. Um, but for us, security is not just about you know, keeping bad guys out. Right. It's about giving you information from your environment. And that information might be you know, um, learning about the air quality and the temperature and how it acts during the day. It might be about making sure that someone you're looking after is com comfortable. So my father who's in California can help look after his father who's 96 and lives in Florida. It can be about looking after a child and making sure that the child is safe and their, both their environment, um, the, the temperature, the humidity in their environment, and also, you know, if you have a babysitter, like, are they doing appropriate things, like checking on at work? So safety and security for us is not just about one thing, about putting sensors around, right. around the house. It's about being more connected to that physical place mm -hmm. in, a, in a very easy and an almost fun way. And this is something you could, you know, convince your 96-year-old grandfather to actually oh, totally. plug in and Absolutely. let it and work. And my 96-year-old grandfather is on Facebook, and he could probably install this himself. Wow. Yeah. Your 96-year-old grandfather is on Facebook? He was on Facebook before me. Yeah. That is, totally. I'm very impressed yeah. with this man. Yeah, he's um, awesome. So this is coming out for crowdfunding this week. This is coming out for crowdfunding and on Indiegogo. Yeah. And um, How much is it going to cost when it's it gonna, comes out? It's going to cost... Um, between one forty nine and one ninety nine, okay. depending on how quickly people jump on there. Fair enough. And, um, and is that sort of the, the about the price you're going for for the retail? Yeah, that'll be the, the retail okay. price will be at about one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. And um, as I said, the app's free, the basic service is free, connectivity alerts, everything, uh, backups, and um, this kind of thing has never been done before. And so, uh, we're, we're what excites us the most is the ability to give people access and security that haven't had it. Like if you think about it people in the largest homes, they're the ones that have security. They're the ones that need it the least. Like large hmm. single family homes are the ones that are least likely to be burgled, least likely for there to be a problem, least likely for, to have a fire, least likely for any problem because yeah. they can afford the best construction and the best equipment and they Fair. have security. Apartments, which are re especially rentals, are the most likely to have a problem. And they're the ones that are least likely to have security. And that's crazy for us. I mean, that's <laughs> unfair. Yeah. So, we're, we want to democratize security, make it available for anyone, um, and just uh, and say, you know, tell the big companies that their way of doing things uh, is not needed, their way of doing things doesn't work, and that this is a new approach. Cool. And I don't have to, you know, convince my landlord to let me drill into the wall to stick Ab something up absolutely there. Absolutely nothing to install. You take it, you, you buy it, yeah, you put it on the table. You can move it from room to room if you want, or you can take it, obviously take it with you if you move from one house to one apartment to yeah. another. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Well, Adam, thank you so hey, much. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate yeah. it. I gotta, I gotta get one of these. And like, Absolutely. <laughs> my, my parents have two cats. And Perfect. just are constantly petrified that the cats are dead uh, because... You know, they might be. Yeah. And <laughs> Absolutely. they're old. What do they you probably do? are, yeah. And, yeah, and so, like, this is, you know, it's peace of mind. Yeah, you, I mean, they could, you know, talking to New Yorkers, probably more than anywhere else, the first thing people think about are their cats or their dogs. Yeah. And, and the ability to, like, wow, I can see what, what's happening all day long, just check in on them, like, you know, brings pleasure to their lives. Yeah. So, this, you can do that and too. And you get, like, a, like a live webcam totally. of your pet and just watch live that video anytime you want. Yeah. Exactly. So, awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank really you. It's great it. to be here.